In the coming days, there's a possibility we could witness a monumental shift in the financial world, with the USA Federal Reserve potentially taking ownership of XRP and the RippleNet system. This move could entail blocking all retail purchases of XRP and replacing the existing financial system with Ripple Labs' technology. The speed of these developments is underscored by Ripple's recent actions, notably their massive buyback of XRP. Just one day ago, an article revealed that Ripple Labs has initiated a buyback of almost $1 billion billion XRP from its circulating supply. This is a significant move that highlights Ripple's commitment to consolidating and strengthening the position of XRP. In the next segment of our video, I will unveil the speculated price at which the US Federal Reserve might be considering buying back XRP. This information is backed by documentation that provides solid support to these claims. Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this potentially game-changing development in the world of cryptocurrency and global finance. Hey there, Money Side family, your trusted source for all things XRP related. Before we dive, do me a solid smash that like button, hit subscribe, and toggle on notifications to join our community. And hey, we're rolling out an epic XRP giveaway once we hit 60,000 subscribers. It's easy to throw your hat in the ring with just three simple steps. So make sure you do all that. Drop a hashtag MoneySide in the comments to secure your spot. The proposal by the US Federal Reserve to potentially take ownership of XRP and collaborate closely with Ripple Labs is emerging as a pivotal development in the financial sector. This news has gained significant traction, particularly as Ripple intensifies its efforts to buy back XRP, contributing to a dwindling supply of XRP on cryptocurrency exchanges. The move is seen by many as a clear indication of a major shift in the market, with some analysts like those from Blood or Crips suggesting that this could be a strong signal for a surge in XRP's value. The recent announcement by Ripple Labs, now about 24 hours old, about their plan to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the circulating supply has further fueled speculation about a potential collaboration between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs. However, for those who have been following the developments closely, this news may not come as a surprise. The Federal Reserve has previously indicated its interest in this area, and there are even articles, including one from Google, that specifically discuss the Federal Reserve's intention to adopt Ripple's XRP as a global payment solution. This strategy also includes a Ripple buyback program, whereby Ripple aims to repurchase XRP as part of their broader plan. The objective here appears to be shifting XRP from retail investors to institutional investors and banks, consolidating its utility and value in the hands of major financial players. Such moves by Ripple and the possible involvement of the Federal Reserve are reshaping the landscape for XRP. Moreover, the relationship between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs has been increasingly highlighted, pointing towards a significant partnership. The close ties between these two entities suggest a future where XRP could be further integrated into the mainstream financial system. An article even headlined, Federal Reserve collaborates with Ripple XRP for integration indicates a potential for XRP to reach as high as $10,000. This news marked a turning point, leading me down a research rabbit hole that uncovered a fascinating concept, the buyback theory. This theory, one of the most compelling in the crypto world today, fits perfectly into the current scenario. It involves a proposal from the managing director of Valhill Capital, urging the Federal Reserve to consider repurchasing XRP at a staggering $35,000 per token. The full scope of the Valhill's buyback theory is even more audacious. It suggests that governments should buy back the entire XRP supply from retail investors at a predetermined price. This price, as articulated by Vanley of Valhill Capital, is an astonishing $37,500 per token. The calculation for this figure is based on dividing the total global wealth by XRP's total asset supply, leading to this extraordinary valuation. As of this recording, XRP's price stands at 60 cents. However, according to this theory, the true potential value of XRP isn't just $35,000. It's now projected to reach around $50,000. This is a significant leap and a reflection of the growing recognition of XRP's potential in the financial world. All right, guys, let's shift gears and talk about today's video sponsor, BNB. Win. This platform offers an incredible staking opportunity where you can earn substantial returns. Check this out. They offer a whopping 333% APR. That's some seriously impressive rates. Their offerings include products from Binance, Simple and Easy Regulations, and the innovative founder of Docs, 
What's more, BNB.Win is completely in tune with the ecosystem and adheres to regulations, ensuring a secure experience. The annual returns are simply phenomenal at 333%. And here's an exclusive deal for my viewers. Use my special code EXTRA315 during registration and you'll bump up that rate to 353% instead of 333%. Make sure you grab this opportunity. You'll find the link and the code in the video description. Besides the fixed rate, there's also a chance to win additional rewards. Signing up is a breeze. Just click on Sign In on their platform. Don't forget to enter your email and password. Once you're in, you're all set to stake. Your deposits are straightforward. Just transfer BNB to the provided address. It's all automated, so you'll see the updates in real time. In this part of our video, we'll present a clip that delves deeper into this theory and its implications for XRP and its investors. The $50,000 to $60,000 price prediction for XRP makes an intriguing case, particularly as it aligns with reports from multiple reputable news sources. Forbes, a leading business news outlet known for its verified information, once published an article asserting that XRP could be the new Bitcoin, with the potential to reach $59,472. Although this article was quickly removed after publication, it ignited widespread speculation about the reasons behind its release, especially since it was corroborated by Microsoft's Bing, Google's Bard, and ChatGPT. The specificity of the figure, $59,472, rather than a round number like $60,000, adds to the intrigue, resonating with the analyses of numerous top experts. These experts suggest that XRP could indeed reach, or even surpass, $60,000, potentially overtaking Bitcoin in value. But there's more to the story. When we examine the data, we find that the S&P alone is set to facilitate over $1.2 quadrillion in the derivatives market, which would necessitate an XRP price of around $10,000. Ripple's recent membership in the International Swaps and Derivatives Association is a strategic move to facilitate these massive volumes in the derivatives market, working alongside financial powerhouses like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, and others. However, even these figures may be conservative estimates. Statistics reveal that over 19 central banks have reported purchasing XRP, further validating its potential to skyrocket in value. An astonishing 9.4 billion euros worth of XRP have been purchased by central banks globally. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg, as about 30 countries are now looking to build their central bank digital currencies directly on the XRP ledger. Of a total of 45 countries surveyed, 19 central banks have already invested invested in XRP, indicating a future where the XRP ledger could be utilized globally. Just imagine the magnitude of transactions, each country potentially facilitating over $1.2 quadrillion monthly through the XRP ledger. Now, extrapolate that to 20, 30, or even 45 countries. The numbers are beyond what we've traditionally seen or discussed, all being processed through the XRP ledger. This scenario might seem far-fetched, but it's grounded in reality. The Federal Reserve is already in talks with Ripple Labs to facilitate and buy back XRP, primarily to get ahead of the BRICS nations Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The US doesn't want to be outbid by these countries, so they are proactively engaging with Ripple for the RippleNet system, known for its cost efficiency, decentralization, and privacy in transactions. It's worth noting that most of the BRICS nations are already official partners with Ripple Labs, emphasizing their rush to adopt the RippleNet system and the XRP ledger. The Federal Reserve's similar actions further validate the technological superiority and demand for XRP. This increasing demand for XRP, coupled with its growing role as a key player in the global financial system, necessitates a rise in its value. We're already witnessing the beginning of these buybacks. Moving forward, I expect to see more buyback activities, not just by Ripple, but also by numerous other financial institutions, all aiming to acquire XRP on a larger scale. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.